Hi there Wargamers and welcome to another video of my little Hero Quest series. This time a little um, tutorial or um, paint through of a, of a wall section. Uh, I've got it all nicely printed off here. Um, nice little uh, drain type thing. We've got some detail at the top here for some poor soul that might get chained down there. So I'm going to go prime this and we're we'll back in a second because you don't need to see me do that. Right. See you in a second. Right guys, um, first let primed it black and then we're going with the bit of Eshin Grey through the airbrush. Nothing too complex here, just a um, nice coat. There we go, I think we're done. We're we done. Yes, we're done. Right then. Let that dry, and we'll come back with some colours to um, pick up the odd, a few bricks out. Right, back in a bit. Right, now the grey's dried, I'm going to pick out a couple of bricks with this uh, XV88. Not too worried if we get some overspray, because I'm not exactly the best with this thing. Uh, so I'm about to thin it down too much. I'll do. We'll do some more walls for the rest of them and then we'll be back in a tick when I've uh, done those and we'll be on with the next colour. Right guys, next one's going to be go for brown and a couple of bricks just like before so just some random bricks going to get picked out and um, see how we go from there. So yeah this one. Right then, that'll do for that. I'm going to go touch this up with Eshin Grey where I've, where I've oversprayed all over the place and um, I'll be back for the next step in a bit. Right guys, uh, after I've um, corrected all that overspray with a bit of uh, more Eshin Grey, uh, it's time to give the um, the bricks a dry brush of Tyrant Skull. So I've got my um, one of my makeup brushes, I'll use all this kind of thing, and uh, we'll Give it a simple dry brush. I've worked up quite a lot of the paint already. Like that. Just going to pick up all those edges. Got all of these dry paints and these um, combination of makeup brushes as well. Also, while you're watching, guys, if you could do me a great favour. Hit that like button for me. I'm give these rocks down here as a bit of a dry brush as well. Yeah, hitting that like button really um, helps me out and encourages me to do, do more content like this. There we go, I think that'll do. Just give a check on, make sure I've not missed any. There we go, a bit more under there, so. All that's been picked out. And if you're wondering, it's, going to look, it's looking a bit um, extreme at the moment. It's going to be toned down in a second. Well, I'll say in a second, there's a couple of uh, things we do first, but then this will be toned down. So, going to let that. If you want to dry, then we'll pick out some of these metallic bits. Right. Right, guys, now that all that dry brushing's done, um, time to go over some metallic bits. Um, these mounts and this bath are gold. 
and the rest of the board I've got this little uh, trim at the bottom which I'm going to do the same colour so let's get that done <coughs> excuse me it may look a bit blingy now but it's going to get washed to high heaven and uh, that will tone it down an awful lot nicely Right, so you get the idea, I'm going to do the other one off camera. Back in a second when that's ready, dry and for the, ready for the next colour. Right guys, uh, once that um, bath side gold is dry, we're going to come in with some uh, juicy violet over the um, gold bits. I'll say gold is more bronze, but you know what I mean. So, nothing complex here guys, just slap it on. There we go, and we're going to do the rest of my walls now guys, and um, we'll be back once this is dry for the next step. Right guys, as the wash is dry now, it's time to go in with some lead belcher onto the rest of the metallic areas, the chains and whatnot and bars. So, well, uh, just crack onto those bits. I'm also going to pick out these little um, nails or whatever they are. Right guys, I'm going to go around and finish the rest of this off camera. Right guys, once that uh, wash is dried on the brassy bronzy gold bits, we're going to give it a um, highlight with uh, balsar gold. It's going to be a bit of a patchy one, just... Um, Brighten it back up a bit, leaving quite a bit in the recesses. Not going for 100% coverage here, just a bit patch like that, just to make that pop. And don't worry if it's, it seems a bit too blingy at the moment. It's going to get um, another wash a bit later on down the line to um, tone it down. There we go, guys. So I'm going to go around and do the rest of the brass and all the rest of these uh, balls. Right, guys, now that um, bath saw gold's dry, I'm going to have one final highlight with um, Psychorax uh, bronze on the uh, bronze part before we wash it back. So, um, even less than before, just little touches here and there, just to put some different um, variation in the metal. So I'm going to go around and do all that on my um, other walls I've got. So um, there we go. Nothing major. I mean, it looks a bit patchy now, but once the wash is on, it'll, it'll all blend together and it'll uh, not nice and weathered. Right guys, I'll be back in a second when it's ready for the wash. Right guys, now the um, bronze colour's dry. Uh, we're going to give it a uh, wash of seraphim sepia. Um, just to tone all this uh, shininess down and uh, bring all the colours together. And also to make it look a bit older. It helps with it in the short run, doesn't it? So, just whack it on over the, over the bronze areas. Like that, there we go. It's already looking toned down, it'll uh, dry and it'll blend it all together a nice, uh, see at a distance it'll all pop together. Right guys, um, coming towards the uh, end of the uh, painting session now. We're going to do uh, all of the stonework and the uh, silver bits, this Mark Bedford mix. It's uh, equal parts of null oil, rack and flash head and lime and medium. Um, so, nothing special, and I think I'm probably going to get a bigger brush because that's going to take forever with that one. Yeah, so it's, it's a nice um, dark red mix. Well, that's not, that's all water, that is. There we go, just all over the place. So, I'm going to go over all this and all over the metals and just. Nice and generous with it. Get into all those um, recesses. 
And when that's dry, we'll be back in a tick. Right guys, now that that's dry, last bit for dry brushing that is, is coming for some long beard grey on these bricks, just to make them pop that little bit more. So, um, nothing special here, just very light dry brush on the edge of these bricks. There we go. Gonna let that dry now. Right guys, now that our dry brush is dried, we're gonna go on for the next wash. We're gonna go uh, be dealing with all this um, watery, murky bit between these little stones. So we're doing that, we're gonna put some Mephonian Camo Shade in there, and also I'm gonna do the, uh, the K Odd Brick in uh, this uh, wash as well. Just to give some variation. So this one here will do, so. Not much of a difference, but all adds up. So that one there. I'm also going to uh, put it in between these uh, runs, or whatever you call them. So I'm going to go through and do all this, and I'm back to show you once it's dry. Right, guys. The uh, next step is to um, darken those uh, bars and silver bits a bit more so to do that we're going to use um, another mix so uh, this one's Alice Brown Wash it's Agri Surf Shade, Severin Sepia, Lamy Medium and a bit of Drakenhof Nightshade in those ratios and uh, <coughs> excuse me oh there we go so nothing too complex it's going to look a bit stark now but There we go, and we're going to go away and do that on the rest of all the models and this as well, and we'll be back once that's uh, dry and uh, show off the finished result. Right guys, back in a second. So guys, uh, here it is, all dry and finished. Um, I might at some point put some uh, gloss varnish in between these cracks, make it look a bit more like uh, murky water. But you get the idea. Um, got some in the immediate rush to do with the, all, all the walls I've got still got a paint so I'm gonna go and uh, <coughs> excuse me take up all these um, pieces of wire out of these walls and then we'll come back be back in a second with all these walls attached to the the, the floor piece and uh, we'll get a show of what that looks like in a second right see you in a set. see you then all right guys I've got the uh, all the walls off those pegs and they're all in place now um, with the magnets in place and it's all nice and removable so doors can go anywhere you want um, there we go so we've got some pillars uh, windows with bars there's even one here that's uh, been broken like something it's not really strong it's taking it out chains there for some unfortunate souls who get chained in the dungeon there we go so guys thanks for watching uh, smash that like button that'll be really helpful and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video guys see you all later